Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Pinet Labs. My name is Chirag and in this video today we are going to get Ansible tutorial for network automation. So join me as I take this challenge of mastering Ansible from the very scratch and today we'll learn all the aspects related to it. Ansible guys is a very powerful tool and we use it for network automation. So we'll try to understand how Ansible can be used for network automation. What I really like about this tool is that it is user friendly. It's very versatile. And is something which is open source. If you enjoyed the content of the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. So when we talk about Ansible, we say that Ansible is a powerful tool which can be used for network automation and it's user friendly, it's versatile and it's an open source platform which can be used for network automation. It's not something that we only use in large enterprises, even small startups and companies use Ansible for managing and configuring their network devices. Now why do we need it first of all? We need it because manual configuration can be a real pain. I'll, I'll show you why. Let's say you have one router. Managing this single router is easy, right? I give you this task that go and check does router number one have the correct IP, uh, the correct subnet and correct default gateway. It's not a problem, right? You would be able to check that very easily. But what if I have hundred more routers r1 to r100 now checking ip subnet mask and default gateway on all these devices is a very time taking process and moreover we can say there is a high possibility that a human error can be made in that configuration right a single mistake can bring down your whole network causing downtime and loss of productivity which no one wants right so we can say manual configuration can lead to inconsistencies across the network making it difficult to manage and troubleshoot issues and uh, if for some reasons let's say you have misconfigured some device it also becomes vulnerable to attacks so we also have a problem of security when we are working in a manual configuration environment right so as your network grows it, it becomes more and more complicated and uh, complex and managing it through manual configurations become really unsustainable. So network engineers often have to juggle between different tasks. Sometimes they have to configure the router. On some other time they have to monitor the performance, right? Some, some other time they have to troubleshoot some issues. So it can be overwhelming and uh, it's not really easy to switch between all these tasks in your day to day activity. But the good news is that there is a way which can make all this process very simple for you so that you can focus on more of uh, you can say strategic tasks and more of the beneficial things. So Ansible is the solution. Ansible is built in a manner which can help you in not just configuring but also monitoring and managing the network devices. When we speak about the basics of Ansible, it is built on three fundamentals. The first thing is playbook. Second is the module. And the third is inventory. Let's try understanding them one by one. A playbook is a set of instruction that defines a specific task or role. For example, configuring a router or setting up a network switch uh, for let's say uh, making sure that when, when I say configuring a router or setting up a network switch, it includes everything starting from configuring IP to enabling routing to implementing some ACL to uh, maybe creating some VLANs and then so on, right? 
So a playbook is a file that will define all of that. So let's say this is my playbook file for configuring router. Inside that we'll have modules. What are modules now? Modules are the building blocks of playbook. They are small programs that define how the task is supposed to be implemented. Now configuring router includes configuring IP, configuring gateway, configuring subnet mask, implementing configurations of routing protocols, maybe uh, putting some ACL and then so on. So all these small things, small tasks will be defined using modules. So there can be one module which I might use for configuring OSPF. Then there can be some other module which I might use for configuring ACL and then so on. So modules are the building blocks. Then the third thing is inventory. Inventory is the file where you define which devices are we supposed to target. So we can say inventory is a list of devices that you want to manage with Ansible. It can include routers, it can include switches, it can include uh, some servers, etc. Right? So all those network devices that you want to manage would be defined inside the inventory file. So you can think of playbook module and inventory as the recipe of network automation. What you do is you write a playbook file and you will define what exactly that playbook file is supposed to do through the tasks that you want to perform. And these tasks that you want to perform would be implemented using these building blocks that are called modules. Finally, you will define what devices or what group of devices you want to target in your inventory file. Now, this is a very flexible and scalable way to manage your network and it's very easy to learn and use. For example, let's say you want to configure a new router now. This is your router number one that you want to manage. So you'll connect your router number one with a management PC and on this management PC, you will create a playbook file like this, right? So you'll define the configuration tasks inside your playbook file. Then you would use modules to perform the actual configuration like setting up the IP, setting up the OSPF configs, setting up the ACL, right? And then inside your inventory, you have to define the aspects related to your router, like the router IP, the username, password and stuff. And rest would be taken care of by the Ansible. It's a simple and efficient way to manage your network devices. Let's take a look at an example where we'll use an Ansible playbook and we'll see how it works in action. I'll show you how to automate the network configuration task using Ansible and you'll see how easy it is. So right now we have this router here and if I show you my Ansible playbook file, this is my playbook file. The playbook file is uh, here present with the name my first playbook file. I have defined all the required parameters related to the Ansible playbook file and there are some tasks, right? There is a task which is used for configuring loopback interface and then there is a task which is used for configuring OSP. In this case, we are managing this network router uh, for, for putting up a loopback IP and putting up the OSPF configurations. We are using a module here called iOS config to perform these configurations. You see, both the tasks would be implemented using iOS config module. Under iOS config, there are some parameters like defining the parent command and then defining the sub commands. So parent command is the configuration mode where I want to implement my configs and then lines include basically all the commands that I want to run. Save when defines that when I want to save my configuration. So I have set it to always. So whenever I'll make a change or whenever I'll connect to the router, I am going to save that config by defining the parameter as always. Then we have this host file. Inside my host file, I am defining a group called routers where I have given the uh, details related to my router of I, uh, Cisco, which I have inside my ENG. This, this has the IP 10.255.1.101. It has the operating system uh, of iOS. We have admin as the username and Cisco as the password. So that's all what we need to define inside my 
inventory file. It's, it's time to run this and see if this actually puts any configuration on the router or not. Right now, if I show you my router, it has no loopback as of now. If I check show run pipe section OSPF, so there is no configuration of OSPF as well. Now it's time to check whether this file can actually implement some configuration on my device or not. For which I'll go to my application Ubuntu. And here first of all I'll try to take the SSH access of my router. So SSH admin at 10.255.1.101. Okay, so it's asking whether we want to add or continue with the new uh, key or not. So we'll say yes, enter. And there you go. It will ask me for the password. I'll enter the password Cisco and we have the access. So SSH is working correctly. Now it's time to run the playbook file so that it can implement the configurations of loopback and OSPF on my router. To implement these configuration, first of all, I have to navigate to the appropriate directory. So we are inside the directory called 1057. I'll go there, cd1057, enter. Here if I say ls, which is list, I can see that we have the playbook file and we have the directory called inventory. So let's try to run the playbook file. To run the playbook file, we have the command ansible hyphen playbook, and then I'll call my playbook file. My first playbook dot yaml hyphen i and then I'll define the inventory which is the host file enter here we are playing my first playbook file as you can read the name and then from the particular playbook file we are running the task configuring loopback interface let's see what happens okay it has changed some some configs on router number one now it is running the next task which is configuring OSPF and there you go, it has changed some configs again on the router number one. So as you can see, the playbook has completely configured the device and my router has been configured correctly. We can verify that by going into the CLI and checking the configs. So now if I run show IP interface brief, we can see the loopback 100 is created with the IP 192.168.100.1. See, if you check show run interface loopback 100 you'd be able to see the description as well which is configured using ansible great and then if i check show run pipe section ospf there you go we can see the ospf configurations as well so it's a simple example but it, it demonstrates the power of ansible right so you can automate your complex network task with ease and you can do it without writing a single line of code as well right so Again, what are the benefits of Ansible for network automation? Well, for one, it saves a lot of time and efforts, right? Then you can automate your repetitive task. Let's say you want to configure loopbacks on 50 devices. Then you can do that easily with the help of a particular Ansible playbook and an inventory file, right? Then it also reduces the potential of human error and it helps you to maintain consistency across your network. And it's highly and uh, highly scalable and very much flexible. So you can manage hundreds or even thousands of devices with very simplicity and ease. So that was all about Ansible. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the world of Ansible and network automation. If you have any experiences or questions about Ansible, please leave them in the comment box below. And uh, if you want to learn more about Ansible or more about network automation, then make sure you check more of our videos on the channel. Thank you so much again. Please subscribe and leave a comment.